Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. Welcome back to how to build a website in Elementor. In the previous lesson, we installed the hello theme, created the pages for the website, and added a navigation menu. In this lesson, I'll introduce you to the Elementor editor and show you the basics of working with it, which will be the building blocks for creating our amazing site. Ready? Let's jump right in. From the WordPress dashboard, go to the Pages section and click the home page we created in the previous lesson. Click Edit with Elementor. Welcome to the Elementor editor. Let's get familiar with the interface. On the right side is the content area of the page. This is where you can add and edit elements that form the layout and design of your page. On the left side is the Elementor panel. Here are creative tools called widgets. Widgets are used to add elements to your page, like headings, text editors, images, videos, and more. You can always access this area by clicking the widgets icon here on the top right in the panel header. On the left of the panel header, you have a hamburger menu button with several settings and navigation options. Site settings, as it sounds, allows you to globally define your site settings, all from one place. We'll get back to them a little later in the course. Theme Builder, a pro feature, allows you to manage all your site parts from one location. We will not be covering it in this course, but if you would like to find out more about it, you can check out our pro course and our video on Theme Builder. User preferences allow you to customize the Elementor interface, such as switching to dark mode. Below is the Finder, which you can also launch by using the keyboard shortcut Command or Control E. The Finder is a search bar that gives you quick access across your site. We'll see it in action later. Click View Page to see your live website or Exit to Dashboard to go back to your WordPress dashboard. At the bottom is the Toolbar panel with a few more important tools. In Page Settings, you can edit the page's name, as well as the page's layout. Here we'll toggle Hide Title to Yes to hide the title that displays at the top of the page. Click here for the Navigator or use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control I. The Navigator displays an organized view of your page elements. Currently, it's empty because we haven't added any content yet. We'll use it later when we design our pages. Click here to see your edit history and view recent changes or revert back to previous revisions. And next to it is the responsive mode icon for switching between screen sizes and making responsive edits. We can preview our changes and when ready to take them live, just hit this update button. There are other save options as well, which I'll talk about in a later lesson. Okay, now let's take a closer look at how pages are built. There are two ways you can start. You can either design your pages from scratch or use a template from the library. Let's begin with the library. Here you can preview Elementor's pre-made blocks and pages, as well as your own templates, and insert them into your page. Filter the blocks by choosing a category or use the search bar on the right. You can also add blocks and templates to your favorites for easy access. I'll go ahead and insert this block so you can see how it works. If this is your first time accessing the Elementor template library, you'll need to connect it with your Elementor account. You can either use an existing account or create a new free account. Great! Now that we added our first block, let's get to know the Elementor edit structure. Elementor uses three main building blocks, sections, columns, and widgets. Sections are the largest and can be identified by their blue border, like you see here. Inside them are columns. In this case, there's one column. You can identify columns by the black dashed border. These columns house widgets, such as the text and buttons you see here. You control the section, column, and widgets with their handles. To edit a section, column, or widget, simply right-click its handle, where you can edit, duplicate, delete, and more. 
You can move sections, columns, and widgets around by simply dragging and dropping them. The blue line indicates where it will be positioned when you let go. Another way to add sections is by clicking the plus icon over here. Then choose one of these preset structures which we can tweak to our liking as we go, or simply delete them. Sections, columns, and widgets have three tabs in the panel on the left. Sections and columns have layout, style, and advanced tabs. Whereas widgets have content, style, and advanced tabs. Soon we'll see how these settings are used to design our pages. We don't need this section for our website design, so I'll go ahead and delete it as well. And that wraps up the Elementor overview. In the next lesson, we'll set up our design system to streamline the building process and ensure consistent styling throughout the website. So watch on 